I am never going back to the girl who was broke, depressed, begged for her ex's attention, worked odd jobs to get by, and talk shit to herself every single night before she went to bed. And let me tell you, I was living at my dad's house in Iowa making $500 a month to moving to sunny Florida, living here full time and building a multi six figure business. So grab a drink like this delicious lemonade that I got from Trader Joe's by the way. And let's dive into how you are going to absolutely transform your life and step into your wealthy girl era. Saba Ali here and welcome back to the channel where we talk all things about money, mindset, and creating the most unforgettable life for yourself by being your own boss so you can actually live life because that is what life is about. Now ladies, I'm about to make a promise to you, okay? By the end of this video, you are going to have a complete blueprint of how you're going to do a 360 in your life and leave your broke, depressed, sad era and step into your wealthy girl era for good. Now, there's a lot that I want to cover in this video, but I want to say there's like a common theme that I really want to first talk about that allowed me to step outside of like my depressed era and actually get into like my rich, high vibe, wealthy girl era. And this one thing is also going to come up on every single step in this video and this blueprint for you to shift out of, you know, whatever era you are in and step into the one that you want to be. The first thing that I did and the first thing that I want all of you ladies to do is deciding that you're stepping into your wealthy girl era and committing to follow through okay it's one thing to decide and start living your life in a different way take new actions have a different way of thinking but it's another thing to decide and then commit and follow through to actually living it every single day because i will tell you there has been so many times prior to me making this 360 in my life where i decided and i committed to something but i didn't actually follow through so i only felt good for like a few days or a few weeks even for a few months but my life never really fully changed because i didn't commit in the actual follow through so for all of you, if you are so determined to step into this era where you just make the most amount of money, you feel so good about yourself, you attract all of the opportunities to you, I want you to decide and I want you to commit and follow through with it all. Okay, so now that we have agreed in deciding, committing, and following through, cheers to that because now let's get into what I actually did to go from broke, depressed, sad, AF, and go into my wealthy girl era. Now the first thing that I did was I got super clear in what I actually wanted. Now for me, when I was living back in Iowa at my dad's house, I knew for a fact that I did not want to live in Iowa. Okay, there's nothing to do there. I grew up there. I went to college there. I went through my worst heartbreak there. And I'm like, no, there's nothing for me here. And I need to move. Back then, I knew that I wanted to move to Florida. I love the weather here so much opportunity here so i made a commitment and i got clear that if i wanted to move it would be to florida so for you you want to get clear on what you actually want in your life okay if it is starting a business or if it is getting a new job and increasing your income or if it is getting a healthy relationship or maybe it is moving to a new city get clear in that and no i don't want you to just say i want to move to a different city I want to make more money. I want to be in a loving relationship. I want to get married. I want to, you know, buy new clothes. No, that is not specific enough. I want it to be so specific that you can actually close your eyes and visualize this new life for yourself. Because I will tell you, I had a whole notebook. You know what? I actually have my notebook right here. Let me grab it. Okay, this was the notebook that I wrote in when I graduated in college 2018, 2019, before I moved to Florida in 2020, where I had in detail what I actually wanted my life to look like. And I got so detailed to a point where when I actually read this notebook, I actually felt in my body that I was living this new life. And that's how specific I want you guys to get. So you can see right here, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, 
That's okay. I'll probably put like a screenshot of it here. But I wrote down, I am a six figure business owner. That happened within a year of me changing my life. Okay. I have spoken on five stages. That happened. I spoke on two TEDx stages. I have 50,000 followers on Instagram. Now I did not reach that goal. Okay. I think I'm at like 30,000. But the reason why I wanted that was because I wanted to get clients and make money, which I already did. I have abs and a boot. Hey, okay, I wanted the perfect body, which absolutely did happen. And I'll put up a picture of me here when I moved to Florida in 2020, okay? I am a girlfriend. Literally, that happened immediately because prior to me moving to Florida, I was heartbroken. I was going through a breakup and I like honestly didn't even, like I wrote down I wanted to be a girlfriend, but I didn't think I'd be able to actually be in a relationship because I was so heartbroken. But guess what? Literally the first person that I met when I moved to Florida was my now like four year boyfriend, soon to be fiance, waiting for that. When I first moved. Okay, literally happened instantly and immediately. I think with my subconscious mind, I knew that I did not want my external 3D reality and my conscious brain to control my life. Okay, all the fears, the doubts, the insecurities, I was not about to be living that. So I only think with my subconscious mind, meaning I'm in control of my actions and what my life is gonna look like. I live in Florida. Okay, that was such a big one for me. Move out of Iowa and live in Florida, okay? And then the rest, like, you know, visit Disney World, stick to a healthy diet, build a successful team, and all of the things that I wrote down in detail actually happened. And the crazy part is, it all happened within like a year. Now I'm crazy, and I went into detail of actually like <laughs> putting pictures in my journal, and I also wrote down, I can't find it in here because this notebook is filled with notes and everything, but I went so in detail with my goals that I even wrote down the type of apartment that I wanted to live in, the car that I wanted to drive. Like I got so clear that there was no gap in my reality where someone else or something else could fit in that I did not want. Like this is the key. If you wanna step into this wealthy girl era where everything just works out for you, you need to first get really clear in what you actually want. So what I recommend doing is taking a notebook just like this and writing down your intentions, your goals, and what you want your true reality and your life to look like. So after you get clear in what you actually really want in your life, the second step that I did was really asking myself, okay, I want these things, but am I actually being somebody who is able to attract those things and keep those things in her life? This is really crucial are you somebody right now who's actually able to attract and keep those things and back then it was a no the second thing i had to do was i asked myself who i needed to be to actually get there i'm such a big believer in you are what you attract so back when i was you know depressed broken going through a heartbreak so insecure the reason why i was experiencing all of that was because i actually lacked a lot of self-confidence and a lot of self-worth like on social media when you know that was in like the really beginning stages when i was building my personal brain online everybody saw me as someone who was so like inspirational but like deep down in my body it did not feel that way i did not believe it myself so of course i attracted so much like bad into my life because i was not being somebody who was attracting all the good things because i was still talking with my ex right i was still working on jobs that i hated i was still eating like shit even though i wanted like a perfect body right i was doing things that were just not in alignment with the life and the dreams and the goals that i had written down so once i understood and once i realized that guess what i did i wrote down all of the traits all of the beliefs, the habits, the identity, the talk track, the way that I wanted to dress to match the girl who is actually able to bring every single thing that I wrote down in that notebook to real life. I want to say this is one of the biggest steps because even if you write down what you want, but you're not being that person and you're not acting like that person, it is not going to come to you. An example I always love to share is if you're that wealthy girl, and you want to be that wealthy girl who always attracts like free stuff to her or people always turn their head and they're like oh my gosh she looks so beautiful but when you walk into a restaurant and a store you have literally like your hair is in a mess you are in sweatpants you have no makeup on like you're just like this on your phone like you're literally not even 
opening up any conversation with anybody. Like you're literally walking in because you want to be hidden, because you don't want to be seen. You are not going to attract what you want in your life. You're not going to attract the guys, right? You're not going to attract the money. You're not going to attract the free stuff because you're literally acting like somebody who does not even want to be there. And once again, the reason why I'm so like blunt about this is because I used to do that. I used to hide. I used to dim. I used to just like degrade myself just to like fit in or honestly not even like talk to people because I thought I was either like a burden for other people. I thought people didn't want to talk to me. Like all of these things that just honestly did not even make sense. Being in a wealthy girl era isn't just like this cute and fancy term that was created on social media it's a real thing that once you step into it and once you tap into it you are just going to be in that state for good and that is what happened to me once I understood once again my beliefs my thoughts the way I talked dress even just looked at myself in the mirror that was the very thing that was going to attract everything that I wanted I dedicated myself to do that every single day so now that we actually know the first thing that you want to do is get clear in what you actually once in your life and then the second thing is identifying who you actually need to be to attract that thing the third step that i took and the third step that you want to do is reprogram your mind and your body to actually be in that state every single day okay because i'm not just going to create this video and tell you guys to be in that state but i actually show you how to do it this is what i did every single morning to basically program my mind and my body to honestly look at my reality as so much abundance even though i wasn't living it yet now i did this every single morning when i was so dedicated in reprogramming my mind my body who I was being, and to be honest, I still do it till this day. Like literally, what, four or five years later, I am still doing it till this day. And this is how powerful this practice really is. The first thing that you wanna do before you do anything else in the morning is meditate and visualize your new reality. I want you to literally see yourself living and experiencing what you want. Remember the list that you wrote down of every single thing that you want? I want you to visualize yourself living in that. Okay. And I always love to use the five senses when I'm visualizing. Okay. When I'm looking at myself in this brand new reality, what, what am I smelling? What am I tasting? Okay. What am I listening to? What am I seeing? Right. And what am I speaking? Right. Like all the things, what am I touching? Okay. I use the five senses to really create this experience in my body and in my mind that I'm already living it. Okay. Because let's be honest, I say this all the time, your mind and your body cannot tell the difference between something that's vividly imagined and something that's actually happening. So that is why when you start to think about like food, your stomach starts to growl and like you start to have like saliva in your mouth. It is because you're thinking about food and you start to get hungry. Same thing with your goals and with your manifestations, your mind and your body, it will get ready to actually attract that into your life, right? So when you start to think about food, your body, your mind gets hungry. So what do you do? You go get something to eat. You go to a restaurant or your boyfriend takes you somewhere and then you get your goal. You get like the desire. Same thing with your goals. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is meditate and visualize. Okay. Meditate and visualize. Honestly, you don't even have to do it for that long. Even if you spend five minutes every single morning visualizing it and really only think about that thing, using the five senses and really feeling into it, you are going to get so excited that you're honestly going to act that way for the rest of the day. Now, the second thing that you want to do after you meditate and visualize is I would always rewrite. I would either rewrite or I would read all of my wants and my, de my desires, okay? So if you have a lot of desires that you wrote down and a lot of wants, you don't have to like rewrite them all every single morning because that could take time. But if it's only like a list of five, rewrite them. Repetition is so key. 
when you have an intention and when you have a goal and you can repeat it every single day, it's top of mind. So subconsciously, your mind is going to attract and look at certain pathways, certain people, certain opportunities and experiences that are actually going to lead you to your destination and your goal. Like I cannot even tell you how many times I have rewritten my goals. I meditate, I visualize, and then later that day I come across either like a person on social media or a thought that turns into a post and then all of a sudden I attract a new client or all of a sudden I get a speaking engagement or all of a sudden like my boyfriend takes me out on a date. Like whatever it is that I'm manifesting, like it ran happens and this is what people call like a coincidence but it's not you are actually doing it so that's the second thing that you want to do in the morning is either rewrite your goals or read them so it's top of mind now the third and the final thing that you want to do in the morning to really step into and reprogram your mind and your body to be in this state at all times is movement this is so key i do not care what you do Okay, I don't care if you work out for an hour. I don't care if you go on a five minute walk. I don't care if you do yoga. I don't care if you blast your music and dance all around your bedroom in your bathroom. Move your body, even if it's stretching, okay? The reason why this is so crucial is because movement creates energy. Now, I actually did a whole video on energy and vibration and how to like actually like scientifically attract your manifestations. And a lot of it has to do with like movement. When you're moving your body, you're creating energy and you're also creating different pathways for you to once again attract what you want in your life. And you just like feel good. Like you cannot tell me if you're dancing and you're blasting your favorite music you do not feel sad and you do not feel depressed. And movement also releases tension and anxiety and stress in your body. For me personally, sometimes I feel a lot of like anxiety in my chest and sometimes in like my shoulders and my lower back. So I'm like, okay, I just feel like, like I just feel like I need to let it out. Like, do you ever experience that? Where you're like, I just need to get out of my body. That's why you should move in the morning because all the stress, anxiety, worry, it is going to exit and leave your body once you move. Okay, so those are the three things that I want you to commit to doing every single day because I promise you that is really going to help you be and stay in this wealthy girl era so that way you can actually attract all the things that you want in your life. And I also want to say once you start doing these things, you're immediately going to tap into your wealthy girl era because even just by taking action on what I'm sharing with you guys in this video, you're going to feel like a million bucks. Okay, you do not have to wait until you get your desire and you get your goal because let's be honest, you're going to be getting so much once you're in this state, but just the fact that you're going to start to do it, oh my gosh, it's going to be so amazing. Now the fourth and a final step in my blueprint of how I went from broke as a joke, sad and depressed to building a multi six figure business, living in sunny Florida, truly so happy in a loving relationship is taking aligned action no matter how scary it felt. This is the final step and this is the final piece. If you do everything else, but you take no action, even if it's scary, even if it's what you know you have to do in order to get to the next step and you don't do it, you're not in your wealthy girl era and you're not gonna get what you want, okay? There have been so many times in my life that I knew I had to do something, but it felt so scary. It felt so, so scary. So you wanna know what I did? I just did it. I did it without overthinking it. The thing is, if you just go do the thing, it doesn't give you time in your mind to think about it or overthink. Like literally, if you just go do something, you just do it. And when I talk about aligned actions, basically like you will have downloads and you will have like intuition in your body telling you to go do certain things throughout the day when you are in this state and when you're in this energy. And that's when you want to listen to it. If you are somebody like me, where you want to build a personal brand on social media, you want to build a business, sell your own products and offers, and you have a hit of recording content, but then you don't do it because you start to overthink and you're like, oh, what if people don't like it? What if people make fun of me? What if they judge me X, Y, and Z? Then you don't do it you are not living in your wealthy girl era and you're not living in your state of being and you're most definitely not taking the aligned action because you're too scared to do it and this brings me back to the very first thing that i talked about in this video was if you're going to commit and decide to be in your wealthy girl era you have to follow through it's not about just committing to one step. It's about following through for the rest of your life because we are going to be in this state for the rest of our lives. And sometimes people think like, 
taking action can feel really hard and like heavy and scary. But to be honest, this is the easiest step because once you feel good, you want to do things, right? It's going to be exciting for you to do it because it's literally going to play out exactly how you visualize it in your mind. And the fact that you already saw yourself do it once in your mind, it's going to feel less scary. Remember, we're using the five senses to really visualize it in our mind. Our mind and our body cannot tell the difference between something that's vividly imagined and happening in real life. So it's almost like we already did it. So it's not scary to actually do it in real life. And this is why this like process works so, so good. So let's recap, shall we? The first thing that I mentioned in this video that applies to every single step in being in your wealthy girl era is committing deciding and following through. It's not enough to just decide and commit for a day or a few weeks or even for a few months. It's about committing and following through with every single thing. And then we went through the four steps, which was number one, getting clear on what we want. Number two, stepping into that identity. Number three, reprogramming our mind and our body in the morning to actually live in that identity. And then number four, taking a line action, no matter how scary it is. So that is your blueprint, ladies. Now, what I wanna say before I end this video is, This is just not something that you're committing for a season or for a quarter or for a month or for a week. I want you to commit to this for life. So your wealthy girl era does not even turn into an era. It is wealthy girl life. This is literally the state that I am always in no matter what happens because I am never going back to my broke, sad, depressed, anxious and unworthy era. So as always, if you ladies absolutely love this video, comment below and also claim and decide that you are committing to yourself to step into and be in this wealthy girl life. So that's all for today. I hope all of you guys love this video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe because this is the channel you want to be watching if you want to build the most unforgettable life by being your own boss. And until next time, make sure that you stay unforgettable. Cheers!